Welcome back to the Reptiles with Podcast. We outside! Let's go. I was going to say we're at Tinley Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Outside is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're hanging out outside. Can we say where we're at? No. no. Okay, okay, okay. No, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> why? Because there's motherfucking poachers that want to know exactly where you are, and then they come and destroy shit, they litter, and then they poach the animals. There's yep. different types of people that will find out these places and fuck uh, them up. So okay. if you do know where we are, keep it to yourself. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at. We outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am feeling Tinley Park FOMO. I did not go to Tinley Park. None of us went to Tinley Park. The NARBC. Is anybody else feeling FOMO? No. No. Damn, why? <laughs> what the fuck? It's, uh, honestly, like... Yeah. It's just a reptile show. Wow, he said just you know, a reptile show. I will show. say, being from I mean, here, it, give it you don't respect, see any of the shit. It's the reptile you, show. You, you don't see like it is the and reptile show, and, and yeah. that is cool. That is true. That is cool. It is the reptile <laughs> show. Um, I just think I'm desensitized to reptiles. Yeah, I've, I've seen enough. What desensitized to reptiles? That's insane. Not reptiles. This is the reptile, reptile show. show. Yeah, yeah. reptiles. I'm desensitized show. to to. Things in deli cups. I saw they had like Cayman in like sandwich containers. I did see that too. Yeah. That was funny. Like, wait, 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 Cayman? Cayman. Yeah. Like Cayman. Like dwarf Cayman, yeah. Like dwarf Cayman. In the, yeah. grape, in the little oh, containers Jesus. where they yeah, put Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I don't. I'm yeah. okay. Well, I guess that kills what I was about to ask you guys right whoa, whoa, now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we make plans as of now to go to the one in October? I would go. Or? I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I'm not feeling FOMO. Okay, okay. You know what okay, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. not like, oh, man, I didn't go. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly how I feel right now. <laughs> when I saw all of, like, all of the friends just hanging out there, people that, that is we cool. know, that is I'm cool. like, fuck. That is cool, <laughs> yeah. but, like, imagine hanging out with them here. Oh, it's true. Literally, literally. I mean, I'm literally, we're just, that. like, we're playing around in a little river, and we're just like, yeah, we're having the time of our lives. Yeah, right? true. Imagine it friends. took, like, fucking four hours to get you guys to come record <laughs> this fucking podcast. True. Why? No, because you guys were playing. <laughs> I'm over here just standing there like... Chuck, Chuck, you don't remember when you were off over all the way over there? No! <laughs> I would never! We were straight wrestling. That's so funny. Straight yeah, you guys were wrestling? Yeah. Not yeah. in my case, because ah! I, I fucking... <laughs> I don't Listen, know, bro. Uh, so, can we try our best to make it out to fucking Tinley in October? No. Down. No, okay. yeah, we can go. I can try. <sighs> we can go. He Are thought you... we were going to be so hyped. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> Energy. Came in in deli cups. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Berms. I mean more of the, the hang. The hang is fun. Yeah. The yeah. hang yeah. is yeah. fun. Sure. Yeah. If you mean the hang, yeah. yeah. I've just never been to Chicago side. So I'll be excited to go there. It's not Chicago. It's Tinley Park. Same shit. No. It's Bro. in. It's in. Rack will beat you up. <laughs> yeah. I'm aware. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. But yes, we are hanging out outside. We did not go to Tinley Park. This is our Tinley Park exclusive. We are not there. Um. <laughs> for the millionth I, time. For, yeah. <laughs> uh. I, I don't know how many podcasts we've recorded about not being in Tinley Park. I've never been. Every 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 time that it comes twice around, a year, twice a year, <laughs> <laughs> twice a year, bro, twice a year. Um, so uh, we have a couple things to talk about. Uh, Tino, talk yes. to me about the fact that apparently reptiles can listen. No, yeah. no, we're gonna skip on. We're gonna skip on. We're gonna go to amphibians first. We're gonna oh, go to amphibians yes. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amphibians just first. Just I'm in. I have a lead up. I have a lead up. I'm in. I'm so, in. Okay. Okay. Uh, in Brazil, uh, it was recently, some scientists recently, uh, were looking at Sicilians, a specific species. Not, it like, South Italy people. I was like, everybody oh. Everybody knows we, what we, we're talking about, I was like, did you, you guys see the article I sent about Sicilians? And he's like, I don't understand what you mean. What's going on in <laughs> Sicily? So, basically, these Sicilians, if you don't know what they are, they're really, really interesting amphibians. Um, basically, we found that they go ahead and they produce milk for their young. A reptile producing a nutrient-rich a substance. Oh, sorry. An amphibian. Damn. <laughs> and a neuron producing a rich... A what? A nutrient and a neuron. What's an neuron? Like a frog, toad, amphibian. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's producing no. nutrient-rich substance Damn. for its young. And actually, how the, the apparently the babies exhibit a behavior that it's like begging. They like... Uh, they, they want they, the milk? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. They go up against and the mama. it comes and out of like, the tail. Yep, yep. They so go up against the mom and they squeak. Is there anything boom. different in the milk? Uh, it's very similar to mammal milk, but mammal milk is not all the same either. True. So it's its own yeah. version of it, but it has a lot of the proteins and things that. But like that, milk these has. amphibians are lapping up a liquid yeah, yeah, substance. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. being milked. It's which, I'm not which, gonna lie. Like I usually get the same reaction from Chuck's milk. <laughs> I do. I, know, I have yet to try that one yet. Oh, uh, no, no, You no, should. No. It's worth yeah. it. Tino, you want to go in on <laughs> no, 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 It's no, expensive. No, so no, I'm he has to. <laughs> I'm squeaking till his day. <laughs> Anyways, what were you yeah, guys saying about um, the milk? So, 
This is where I said something to you, Tina, earlier. <laughs> that it's fascinating yeah. how reptiles don't fit into our boundaries. Not only reptiles. That's not yeah, a reptile. It's an amphibian. Animals, animals, in, animals general. in general. Like, if he produces milk as a mammal, yeah. amphibian said, fuck <laughs> you. Like, Watch oh, me milk. milk. <laughs> Watch me milk, bitch. <laughs> yep. What yeah. do you think of that, Tino? It's wild. That's How, crazy. Now, what's a mammal now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so mad so, at look, him? Look, look. Because he pisses me off with no, like, because, look, we look. need to have a standard. We need to, and nature look, goes. Look, 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 <laughs> look. A polymorphic like definition of species, of phylogeny, all that stuff just doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's not scientific. But with that said, a coconut technically should be a mammal. It's got fur <laughs> and it produces milk. That's a mammal. Co you hear this guy? <laughs> fur? What are we <laughs> talking about? You hear this guy, bro. I'm sure it's hair. Yeah. No, we, we call it milk, but it's not milk. Yeah, a pluralistic definition of species just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's He's not scientific. Idiot. Are fruits He's vertebrates? Are fruits vertebrates? Yes. You yeah. know what, though? Look, is that let's what the world come to? Think about, uh, let's ask the turtle boys. Let's ask the turtle I'm boys, I'm going right? to lose so brain cells! Vertebrates versus invertebrates, right? Vertebrates have the spinal... Uh, the spinal segments within the body, right? Okay. And invertebrates have them on the outside or not at all. Here right? he goes with his dumbassery. I know where he's going. Turtles, Go okay, they have their backbones on the outside of their bodies. So to ask the turtle people, why are turtles not invertebrates? Or at least half what invertebrate. The bones are inside. They're you got inside. the ribs. Oh, you got the, the, the vertebrae and outside of that You're you have the shell. turtle boys. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm but he answered you the question. Yeah, I literally answered it correctly. <laughs> Fuck you, Eric. You, you didn't have enough brain cells to like, fucking the, answer. The, the skull's smoke. inside, the arms are inside, the legs are inside. Not the arms. The legs are inside, the tail's inside. The, the shell's on the outside. The shell is not the, the, the vertebrae. The vertebrae's inside the shell, and so it's are the, the ribs. Yeah, the spinal cord. They're inside. Yeah. So it's... The spine isn't. The spine is the outside. Your spine, spine is on the inside, inside of the, the shell. Spine's in the spine's inside. It, it, it is, and it's covered by the shell. Yeah. What is the, the shell? Is it Keratin. Ribs? The shell's not keratin. The yes, shell's bone. Yes, it is. The shell's no. bone. The, the, there's a layer of bone, yes. But it's, no, like no, a, no, it is bone. it's almost like an osteoderm. That's it bone. is an osteoderm. That is bone. That's no, the bone. No, no, it's very different. When you see the skeleton of a, an alligator, the osteoderm is above the skeleton itself. It sits right on top of it, but it's not part of it. So when you're looking at a turtle skeleton, okay, you're looking at a turtle skeleton. Yes, you have layers of keratin over the tops of it, but the shell itself is made of bone. Yes. Yeah, but it, the, the spinal and the, all of that, all of that is inside still. Yeah. Like, your bones are inside your muscle. Like It's just two layers of bone. Yeah. Like, the spine just happens to be on top. Or and below. below the shell, huh. like the carapace. Weird. Yeah. Weird. So is the fucking Sicilian. So is not give a fuck about your rules, goddammit. <laughs> the rules Sicilians. are there to define the rules. No. The, the no. rules are there to be broken. The, no. Yeah. The rules are there to try and make us understand, but nature does not follow this those rules. This is what rules. we think the benchmark is, and then something comes but then along you're saying and makes like, us go, what the fuck okay, is the benchmark? But then you're saying, oh, science is, de is dealt with measuring, right? We use science to measure the to world. To try and us. measure. But then if you say, oh, these measurements don't work, you're not doing they science. They work then. depending on what you need science. it for. They work depending on what yeah, you need. Yeah, and it you for. can go ahead and delineate where what works. You know, Newtonian physics only Multiple works for things. medium speed, medium sized objects. Not only that, but it, then you have to go to quantum talking, for larger you keep, you or keep, for smaller. You keep going into something else. So we're talking biology where the evolution biology is still involved. science. Yes, still but, science. But there's evolution involved in it, so it changes and it does whatever it wants. Other sciences have things going on that are already going on. What you on, don't understand we, is that science is about measuring. You yes, it is about measuring. Yes, it is about measuring. But you could change things up to be able to measure those That's things. That's not. Yes, yes, you can. Change what it, things? What can you change? What's allowed to be changed with science? Whenever you put different animals in different groups, you can change okay. those groups. Define yeah, those animals. They can break the you rules. You can't. Two measurements. Two standardized measurements. No, you can't just willy-nilly put turtles inside with snakes. You can't go ahead and put a uh, Sicilian inside No, with that's why they made them you their can't. own. That's yeah. why they made them their own when thing. They, when they started milking the Sicilians, where they're like, oh, this is a mammal now. <laughs> no, they didn't. No, of they course not. They have clear not. rules. Oh, of course not. They're of like, yeah, not. this isn't a mammal. It is an amphibian <laughs> still. Absolutely. It is still an amphibian, but now it milks. And and that didn't change that, anything. And before that, before that, if something produced milk and gave it to its babies, that was defined as a mammal. Now that has to change because there's an animal that changes the rules. Same, if there was not a mammal that ha had been discovered laying eggs, mammals would be live birthers. But because there are two mammals that lay eggs, you can't put that in the rules anymore. There are several mammals that lay eggs. Several? Yeah. yeah. Name them. All monocremes. So th that's there's a whole group. Two. Yeah, echidna, platypus. Echidna and platypus. And that's it. That's not it. That's it. That's all of them? That's Those all of the them. only monocrims. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's yeah. it. That's all you got. Oh, well. 
Do, oh, but you're son, welcome. fine. You're they welcome. lay eggs. No, you're but welcome. listen, listen. They lay eggs. Are <laughs> they no longer mammals? No, they are. No, mammals. they still are fucking they mammals. Are mammals. Yeah, because we have measurements in place. No, they're yeah, measurements. Bro. What are we measuring bro, with them? Bro, the bro. phylogeny. No, listen, Tino. The once those animals are discovered, are. once those animals are discovered, the way of measuring has to change completely. I don't think that that. I don't think that we were like, oh, let's discover all the mammals, and then they found platypi, and like we have to redefine what a mammal is. That happens all the time. I mean, yeah, sure, with other branches, with other things. It happens all the time. Happened with crocodilians and birds it happened with so many things now sicilians fucking produce milk now we i can't, don't know sicilian's gonna stay an amphibian no matter what you say it is an amphibian it is an amphibian <laughs> not gonna be like, but we right, can't we use milk to describe a mammal anymore no, when one of no, them i don't break think the anyone rules. ever did i don't google think people it. are like google all it. mammals google have it. to produce milk. google it google it pull it up Let's google see. it what are we googling we can google it what, what define a mammal god damn what it define a fucking mammal Define a fucking And mammal. also how to milk a Sicilian. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. I think we can meet in a happy medium because there are exceptions to every animal group. Exactly. So nothing gives a fuck about the little rules to try and standardize Mammals. Shit. A group that include humans are warm-blooded mam- animals with hair and vertebrates or backbones. Unlike other classes of ma- animals, female mammals produce milk to nourish their young. Almost all an- mammals, this is terrible, I'm terrible at reading, give birth to live young. That's, it says almost this? all. You hear this? And yeah. what they say about the milk? Shut up, bitch. No, I mean. <laughs> it comes out the titty. <laughs> Wait, do the Sicilians have little titties? Yes, no. they do. No, no they don't sweat it. <laughs> they sweat milk? Same yeah. as, uh, like, monotremes do, do that. It's do that. Yes. It's bitch. So what, it's a bitch. Cream now? No. No, no it's, it's not cream. Cream. We have an extra cream. We have standards. No, no, no. It changes the standards we already had for the mammals. Females are the ones that uh, produce milk, unlike other groups of animals. Now, that is not true because there's one that f- produces milk, and it's not a mammal. So you can use that definition anymore when something else I don't know. produces milk. You can talk to the Brazilian biologist. I don't think they were like, hmm, should we, redefine, him. Should we redefine what a mammal is? No. I'm still confused. <laughs> Do you think they should redefine it? No. Or not? Do no. you think they should redefine I'm it? I'm saying you, you need redefine standards. redefine what a mammal is now that a, uh, an amphibian uh, produces produce milk. milk. Because you saw the, def- the definition there. Part of the definition is that the females produce milk for the young. Now, there's something else that does it. Okay, so... It broke the rules. Wait, so but is it actually mammals. milk? Yes. No. Yes. Look, look, look. You're, you're, yes. you're, you're, what you're doing is a categorical error, okay? All mammals produce milk. But just because you produce milk doesn't make Except you a mammal. unlike other animals. A-, a lot of other animals don't produce milk. But is it That's actually so milk? Yes. Like, can I buy yes. it at the store? Are you, are you <laughs> arguing about the definition of milk? <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, in, in, all honesty, Whole Foods. in all honesty, that can go up for debate. What constitutes milk? A nutrient-rich substance? I'll produce no. a nutrient-rich no, substance no, for you it, right it, now. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yo, buying organic Sicilian milk at Whole Foods is oh, crazy. Sicilian cheese. Sicilian cheese. Oh my god! Crazy. Yo, put some Sicilian cheese in your pizza. Uh, oh, a Sicilian pizza uh, just, from Sicily. Ice cream. <laughs> oh god! Oh, something fell on my eye. God damn it! I'm tired. That was it's a Sicilian milk. milk. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> look, look, look. Speaking of animals that don't fit in our boundaries, all right, yeah. Chuck. Australia. They just did a study that snakes can audibly hear sounds not mm-hmm. just ground vibrations that we mm-hmm. thought like before mm-hmm. but that all of a sudden it's like hey no they can actually respond to purely auditory stimuli. Mm-hmm. stimuli i think it's cool i think it is limited study they only uh studied australian species they studied uh they studied the elapids there pseudonia and they also did the uh death adders they did Those are uh, all aspidites i think okay uh which are the woma's blackhead pythons uh-huh. um but Question. yeah very cool how how did they test what frequencies? Pink that- noise. So, yeah, they put them in a soundproof room and then emitted from speakers certain sounds. They did, I think the study said that they did one that did do ground vibrations uh-huh. and two that only did auditory vibrations. Yeah, they used pink sound for yeah. all of it in different frequencies. And they, the study also Ooh. found that certain snakes, depending on genus, respond a certain way. Mm-hmm. That basically some snakes were more shy and Head they would kind of coil away, yeah. get away from it. Whereas I think Oxyoranus, like the Taipans, mm-hmm. they would actually go towards it. They were like interested and investigative of the sound. Huh. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Very, very cool. So and they can also, it, it was within, uh, I think it was 600 hertz is the sound that they can hear, which is within range of the human voice. Yes, it is. The yeah. They can hear is our voices. Is the lower part. Is the lower part of our voice. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. But they can hear our voices. Hmm. That's, That's like cool. the mid-range. Low At least Australian species yeah. can. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Can you imagine it's only the Australian ones? 
And no. then the other ones are just deaf as fuck. <laughs> it's maybe, so that they can hear maybe, the dick reduce in the wild down there. <laughs> I wonder about I wonder about vipers because they're a little bit dumber. I feel like elapids are yeah, they're a lot ready up there. Too. Yeah, they're hmm. all, all up there. Maybe. Now, this is my argument with it. Tell me. Sensing or, or being able to sense sounds is not equivalent to hearing. Uh, does because, it, okay, I because, got a question. We're because. outside, we're outside. Yeah. If a tree falls down in the forest, but no one's around to hear it, <laughs> depends does it make on a it, sound? D- depends on if the bear shat in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so, Listen. to respond. Or, are you not finished? I'm not finished. Okay, go, I'm go, not go. finished. Go, go. So, the, way, the, the reason we hear the way we do is because sound goes into our ear canal, correct? Uh-huh. It hits the little drum. And the drum hits these little hairs that cause electric, electricity to go to the brain. Uh-huh. And then the brain produces those as sound yeah. the way we do. That's what we hear. Even though we hear not only different frequencies, but within those different frequencies, we can hear differently from, like, depending uh-huh. what's causing the, the noise. Now, a snake, the vibration travels through the air through the skin, uh. then here's a uh, drum-like structure, and then they produce sound from that, quote-unquote. But it's not the same as us hearing. I think that process was exactly the same, except it goes through scales. Yes, but sound is a wave, uh-huh. and when it hits something, usually it bounces. So higher pitch it bounces off, that's why they can't hear it. Now, the new frequencies that are going in through scales and skin, which are not here, this is a, this is a tunnel. The tunnel causes the waves to keep going uh-huh. in the same way that they were made. Uh-huh. If the tunnel is not there, it's going to change those vibrations very differently. Sure, yeah. So, for example, if something is at 600 hertz, it could be different things making this, like, same frequency, different sounds. We can differ- differentiate what each thing is. Sure. If you you're talking about sound waves, yeah. Okay. If you don't have that tunnel, that canal, then all the sounds will sound the same. No, not necessarily. Why not? All right. I want everyone at home to conduct an experiment. Okay. Cover your ears. Cover no, your ears different. and it's start different. yelling. It's can different. you still hear? <gasps> it's different. Yes. It's different. Yes, you can. Because things still go through the tunnel. The tunnel, so that you can't just you take can it away. Completely, look, you I can think, hear underwater. I think you can hear underwater, where water's completely filling your I, ears. Yeah, and whenever you hear underwater, it sounds way different than of what course, I actually hear. Of course, exactly. You can still hear. I, yeah, but and it's you can still, hear human it's still, voice. Yes, but air moves, correct? Right? Yeah. Water moves as well. Yeah. If there's scale and keratin and muscle covering it, I you won't be able to hear. You, the yes, same. you. Can I don't still think that hear. there's an argument that they can't hear. I think that there's an argument that they hear different. Yeah, of course. Yeah, all, that's all the animals thing. Because it's probably that's just that's like, what I'm saying. They don't hear the way we. No, do. but you they can't do oh. hear the way we do. They can. Mm. They can detect, auditory sound waves. They can, they can detect, detect they auditory can, sound waves. They can detect the waves, but they can't hear the way we do. Well, they the point. They can hear different sounds, different things. Literally, <laughs> look, listen. The point of the paper was that it isn't solely they can detect ground it. vibration. Yes, they can detect audio vibration. Of course, of that's course. That's fire. That's cool. That's that's obvious. They if you can hear us. If you go to a concert, right? And no. they put yeah. music, right? You can feel the well, vibration of the speakers. If somebody that's deaf goes to that same concert, they can feel the vibration uh, coming from the no, speakers that are low vibrations. Yo. Deaf is completely different. Talking about being deaf at a concert, have you seen those people signing at concerts? No. What they be that? lit. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They be lit. Yeah, yeah, they be fire. outside, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they be outside, bro. <laughs> anyways, yeah. anyways. No, but yeah, so... We need one right here. Yeah. <laughs> I... It's... What... Fuck. The ASL threw me off. <laughs> um, the snakes can still hear. They can still hear audio vibrations. Yes, it's going to be different. Every animal hears different. Hears different frequencies. We never. We hear different from each other. We're never going to yeah, know but what each other hears. The things that have a canal are very similar to one another, just louder and sure, less loud. Sure, more similar. But the point is, it's not just ground vibrations. I it's think also was, auditory vibrations. I think that's already been known. Better question. If a snake could hear, they do. what type of music would it like? Snake jazz. Snake jazz? <laughs> That's that is the funny. Most- <laughs> that was good. Thank you, Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, wow. it's a reference. <laughs> I don't watch that show. I don't fucking know. No, but yeah. That um, was a dad joke. It's fuck, yeah, it was. It was. It was fuck, dude. It's a biology teacher joke. <laughs> but no, it was, it's it's really cool. It's really cool. I hope they that other scientists go ahead and do kind of other snakes, other countries. I want to know vipers. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, if they can hear their own rattles, also cool. Also very cool. I wonder. I don't know. Yeah. You know what's cool about them now that I think about it? Yeah. They do live in a canal. Like the what burrows. Do you mean vipers? Oh, the burrows, yeah. Burrows, so sound probably travels down different. It a- amplifies sound, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what kind of sound you're hearing a lot of like out in the wild. Steps. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. Stumping. Calls, okay. yeah. yeah. Hmm. What would be cool is if you could see if they could d- differentiate between sounds. Like if they can go, like that's if it's that doubt. specific enough where they can determine that's what your I voice versus your voice. That's what I doubt. I also doubt it. Because I don't of think what I said. I doubt extent. it because of what I said. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's hard. Obviously, it's harder to hear when you don't have an open canal straight to your friggin' brain. Um, uh, well, it's not straight to the brain, dude. I just explained it. <laughs> no, the hairs are right there in the hairs. It's straight to the no, brain. No, but the snakes don't have it in their hairs. Yeah. No, but the sound has to go through a barrier first. The sound has to Multiple penetrate barriers. a barrier. Yeah. Multiple barriers. Yeah. The sound has to penetrate first. Whoa. Whoa. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so if a sound, <laughs> if a if a tree falls in the forest, <laughs> does it make a sound? Yes. It depends how you different you determine sound. Does oh, sound God. have to be perceived? If yes, then yes, someone has to be around to hear it. If sound does not have to be perceived, it's literally just the movement through the air. No, it still made a sound, just no one was around to hear it. Yeah. What like, the like, fuck did you just say? <laughs> that guy offended me. <laughs> I offended. Did it I answer sound, the, the unanswerable it question? How I know that it made sound. <laughs> it made sound. It fell. It made sounds. Waves yeah. went around. The air went crazy. Yeah, this log is going. Some bird got scared but as fuck. What I think was most interesting about this paper was that specific genuses responded differently. Yeah, that that would that is very that's interesting. so cool. most interesting. That's so true. Okay, to me, that's probably because of what they eat, especially the lapids. If they're like, like a vipers, prey versus a predator yeah, type, yeah. Yeah. Science, it, yeah. like like vipers are very stationary for the most part, and they yeah. wait for shit to get close to them. Yeah. When you look at a lapids, you got shit that tracks other animals mm-hmm. down. I was actually gonna argue even further and say snake eaters versus mammal eaters. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you are yeah. like looking for snakes, you're probably not relying on sound at all. But if you're looking oh, for mammals, you you're you wait. You're on top. Of, I, no, sound I, a lot more. I think you would because as you walk around, if you're herping, I can hear the sound of a lizard and a snake and differentiate it. So I, yeah, but I a mammal's gonna be way louder. I bet, yeah, but I bet a lizard stepping around causes a different sound than a snake slithering around. Yeah, but what about vocalizations? Mammal squeaking. Mammal yeah. squeaking. That's an extra yeah, but sound you don't you see you don't see a fucking deer like <laughs> all over the place. I don't know. I don't think <laughs> death adders are eating deer in Australia. No, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like not all mammals. Like mammals are not like consistently making noise. Yeah. Rodents are not just squeaking around all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about snakes eating snakes, did you see that the cottonmouths are, you know, coming back and they're fighting? fighting back. Yeah, they're fighting back and yeah. they're, fighting the good fight. I've look, I've seen cot- I have pictures of. I'll show you guys later. I've I've seen cottonmouths, not personally, eat snapping turtles. Yeah, the, yeah they eat anything. snapping turtles. That's I've so seen sad. It's I've insane. seen a cottonmouth eat a throw up from <laughs> another snake. Yep. Ew. Like a throw up fish. Yep. Ew. Like, I've seen. Oh, there was a Living Zoology has their documentary about finding an EDB here. Yeah. And they showed, like, I don't know how ethical this is, whatever, a freshly killed uh, frog. I think it was like a pig frog or bullfrog. Yeah. And they found, they road cruised a cottonmouth and they fed it to him and he just ate it right off the road. I'm like, yeah. look, these guys don't have sandwich. They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to eat whatever. So that was in reference because I didn't even say what it was. It was yeah. that uh, cottonmouths are apparently there. Somebody did an x ray of one and they found. Burmese pythons yep. just chilling in their tummies. Yep, crazy. So? So cool. We solved the problem. No. no we need bro. more cotton mouths. No, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> There's listen. so many. Cottons, indigos, eat them. Bobcats, yeah. eat them. It's not about what eats them or not. It's about the size of the animal. Once it's full grown, nothing eats it. It's done. Yep. Mm-hmm. A cotton mouth will max out three three foot, but a Burmese will max out almost Sounds 20. like we solved the problem as long as they're getting them young enough. <laughs> Actually, I think the problem, I think the solution is bigger cotton mouths. Whoa! We need 20 foot cotton mouths. We need to hybridize them with Burmese <laughs> no. pythons. No, we can just release a larger venomous snake. Oh King Cobras. my god, Go. dude. You guys are geniuses. Bro. We solved it. We, we solved, we solved the Everglades. We did it. We did, did you also see the, the giant uh, berm pile? No. They recently found like, I don't know if it was 50 foot across, 15 foot across. I don't know. They found a huge pile of breeding berms just hanging out vibing i think they were at, for, in pursuit of like a single female but there was a bunch of Yo, males like the dog they, piling this they ran like, a starters, train yeah. on that fucking female i gotta show you the pictures it's like a pile did. of berms it's crazy yeah i'll put it up so yeah definitely send you're it down yeah, bad as a snake. <laughs> when you're down bad as a snake <laughs> yeah i mean you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> that's fucking gross <laughs> put suckers. them all down if you, if you guys on, want on, to, if you guys want to see something cool, look up like ga- uh, garters. Whoa. No, 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 no. What was no, no, he no. gonna say? Look up what? garter, garter what? snake mating pile. What was he gonna good say? Job, good job, pu- good job, Whoa. catching yourself. I don't know. I thought he was gonna say like acorn or something. No, 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 no. Uh, that's, okay. that's okay. Anyways, um. <laughs> My my brother in law he he told me that if he didn't hear us talking about this on the podcast he was gonna get very upset, uh, but he sent me a thing that I mean I know we've spoken about people eating Burmese pythons before, mm. but he sent me a thing about how that could be a primary source of meat for humans. Okay, in like the long run, 
Do you guys think that something like that would make an impact on populations? It can. The problem is that there has been studies with mercury, too much mercury in them. So too much mercury is not good. What for if humans. mercury is in retrograde? Fuck you, dude. I hate you. <laughs> it's, fuck you, dude. Because that's why like people are doing in Puerto Rico with like Cayman and iguanas, but now they have yeah. retics all over the place. Yeah. yeah. So like, I don't know. I think maybe it's a specialty meat item, but like if you're if you're thinking about putting something to extinction like let's say the gators you had to be getting a lot more than meat from them you know you had to be getting i mean like, they, they would do that they already bodies. do they already do yeah. like leather and shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i guess i guess i have to listen. be like a pursued commodity listen, people in florida they listen. love the gator shit they're like oh my gosh i want to go yeah and have imagine a berm They'll i don't do think the same. a lot of people oh the same way. You think for so? sure huh. for sure i would go down and eat one well, you're a snake guy that's different I will I go down. Most I, like, down I think I think most people would. Really? Absolutely. Because huh. it's like all the big, the big berms in the Everglades. Yeah, the big berms yeah. in the Everglades. It's like all the gators in Florida. Same thing. Yeah. Same maybe. Thing. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Here, let's take a poll. Would you try berm? Uh, dude, I've thought about that because I love meat. Pause. Um, <laughs> and I would, I really would try like any kind of meat. But pause. Uh, pause. Uh, but the the snake stuff is it's hard for me. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to unpack here. Pause. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll try some snake meat. Pause. You would. Pause. If if you, if we were somewhere and they had it, you would eat it. Yeah. Like, yeah. It would be, be like, oh, it's already here. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. Like I've been to like gator parks where they sell gator bites and i don't get it yeah but like if we're at an area where there's a barbecue and everybody's just passing around the gator meat mm -hmm. and i'm like well i've never had it let me try it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what about you Chuck? i'll try Yo, anything yeah, i would fucking eat it eric whoa i want to eat an iguana if it looks tasty okay. If it looks Not tasty, snake, cause snake looks disgusting. Okay, what if they like set it up like it's it's like steak, <clears throat> like it's shredded. You don't. Oh, see it's shredded. Yeah, yeah. Shredded? It's an empanada. It's an empanada. Yeah. Buddy. Empa of, berms. <laughs> empa berms. I'm Ugh. down. Berm panada, dude. Berm panada is fire. It's hard for me to eat chicken, Trademark. dude. Trademark. Imagine I'm calling you. You're trademark. so weak, bro. You're just straight up fucking weak, bro. <laughs> Grow up. I grow up. I don't up. know. I don't think I'd try it. I, I'm too. I'm too afraid of getting sick. That's what I mean. Okay, okay. That's what I think. If if. People, the, the people. mercury wait, wasn't much, there, and I was down wait, with the shits. Wait, 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 wait. I would. How much mercury is in this thing? Because you eat sushi. Not know. even necessarily. We all eat sushi. I barely. I don't eat sushi. I don't like sushi. What? What? Yeah, I don't eat raw meat. You no, know, he, he, he. We've never seen him eat sushi. I don't see. eat sushi. Oh my god. Yeah, I hate seaweed for one. Wait, no, no, that's a lie. 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 Poke bowls. bowls. That's not sushi. Yeah, but it's raw meat. It's you know what I get in my poke bowls? What? Chicken. That's or spam. You are so Hispanic. It's not raw chicken. That's fucking. A Hispanic dish. Yeah, That's it's funny. not sushi. Uh, technically, I don't eat sushi. Uh, Mandela effect with Tino. <laughs> Bro, I've never eaten sushi. What the fuck? No, but yeah. Well, technically, you could consume crab. Wait, crab rangoons. <laughs> they don't have crab in them. They have imitation crab. That's he not crab. He doesn't eat sushi. Yeah, but fish. Fish. yeah. I just figured it out. But it's not raw yeah, he fish. Doesn't. He but there's mercury in no, that. There is. Maybe in minimal. Fish. They're full of it's Venus. Not. Maybe minimal amounts, but nothing concerning. Okay, okay. Let me. Can I fucking read? Well, <laughs> technically, <laughs> I eat mercury every day. <laughs> <laughs> While technically you could consume Burmese python meat, it's not a common practice in most cultures. However, in some regions where they are considered invasive, efforts have been made to control their population by encouraging their consumption. It's worth noting that before considering consuming any wildlife, it's essential to research local regulations, potential health risks due to bioaccumulated toxins and ethical considerations. So I guess it's being pushed. He read that from chat GPT. <laughs> Hell yeah, because we outside. That's so funny. Honestly, yeah, I, I think with... Uh, Honestly, it's the same thing that happens with turtles. People who eat turtles, they get sick. They get sick what all the, the all the time. What the fuck are you talking about, yeah. bro? No, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. literally know a lot of people that eat turtles and they're never everyone sick. I know that's eating a turtle <laughs> has gotten sick. I don't know if it's improper cooking or just something it's wrong. It's probably with something like that. I think it's meat. I think it's meat. It's I just don't bad know. meat. I, bro, I, whatever, dude. It's, it's literally a, a regular dish in entire restaurants. Sure. All the Maybe time. I just don't have the stomach. I don't have the gut fauna for it. Then you're not everybody. Yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm just saying, we're asking if I would try berm. All right, that's it. I'm still dumbfounded on this mercury situation. Why? <laughs> Look, this boomer here still has mercury in his thermometers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Everything Fuck has you. mercury. <laughs> yeah, I would. I mean, if it's healthy and it's good, I would fucking eat them. Okay. I would hunt them myself and eat it. Okay. <laughs> How do you guys feel about hunting? Ooh. Pass. Strong pass. I am Hard pass. in the clouds about it. Invasive species, I'm for. Uh, consumption. Like, personal consumption, I'm for. I think even more than yeah. anti, like, even more opposition, or not, 
oh, how do I say this? More <laughs> than like I meat. dislike hunting, I dislike hunters. I don't okay. like hunters. I don't like I, like you don't like that culture. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them. I, I don't. I haven't met besides us, away from family, far away from family. I haven't met people that I'm like, yeah, I, I could sit down and have food with you. I can't. Gotcha. Yeah, it is not like your thing too. Yeah, I, I feel I feel weird about. They feel re- they, they're regular. Ass <laughs> I mean, no, 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 but like, yeah, they are. I don't know. They're snake heart. When they're they snake get haters. That a lot true. of them are snake haters. Yeah, oh, but like man. Isaiah's a hunter. That's different. He's hunting invasive species. I th- that's not what he's a hunter. There, no, right? no, no. He, I, he's, know, hu- he's a hunter. Y- he, I, think, I think Tino is more on the lines of some... <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Time wait. stamp that. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> yeah, um, that, maybe. It, that's what maybe. it is. That's literally what it is, bro. I think it's more on the lines of like deer, people yeah. that go and hunt elk. Yeah. For me, it's like the, when people want the headpiece. Especially yeah. that they do that too. They take so that, that's different. That's a, that's a that's a trophy like, hunter. Is, is, there's different yeah. versions of this. Nasty. There's different versions of it. Yeah. yeah, it's different versions. There's people that hunt to eat. There's people that hunt for trophy, and there's yeah. people that hunt for meat and also trophy. But like I, I've Alaskan Inuits, you know, Native Americans. I don't have beef with anybody like that. You know, they do what they got to do. But so it's <laughs> again. Look for me for the most part. If you want to eat meat, you awesome. have WalMarts available. You know, you no, can get no, but you're getting then you're supporting the farms. That no. you also hate. I also hate them, but we oh look, look, look. I can hate two different things. You hear this? I can hate two different things. things. You hear this? I can hate farming and I can hate hunting. I can hate both. It's okay. I can hate no, both. No, I can do both. and then you want to you, you you just I can do push both. to support the other one. Yeah, but what vegetarians, vegans? No, no, no. You just say go to Walmart instead. Support the farms instead of the hunters. <laughs> yeah, that's you know what? If I had to, if I had to delineate them, actually, no. You know what? Fuck, because farming does impact the environment a lot more. Yes, it does impact the That's why I do more. like hunters that hunt for themselves. I don't like hunters that over hunt. Sustainable hunting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't like people that over hunt. I like people that 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 hunt for themselves. Mm. I'm okay with that. Hunt invasive species. When it comes to certain species that should not be hunted, like yeah. species that don't reproduce as fast as deer or or pig and things like that. Like yeah. I'm against those things. You know, like people that want to hunt like alligator. It takes over ten years to be sexually mature. Yeah. Well, like I'm against that. Yeah. But I'm not against like deer and animals that can actually reproduce and like it's sustainable. Mm. Like if you eat turtles, I'm not for because it, it is not sustainable. Shark yeah. is not sustainable for yeah. the most part. Yeah, yeah but if on you're species. killing like, oh, I hate to, to say it like this because it's weird, but if you're like hunting a couple elk, a couple deer in the season for a year to feed your family, and it's just that's what it is. Yeah, something. And and, but it's there are one person and, and elk, thousands of hunters yeah, all at one time. That's yeah, but that's why story. they have them in seasons. Right. Yeah, right. and, and yeah, one yeah. elk could feed a family for a very long time. And, and that's yeah. why, because so like, I'm, I'm for that. But then you have a thousand people in the woods. That there is not a. There's not a thousand elk, people. Snakes. There's not a thousand people. There's not a thousand people. Not in Florida. There's not. Sure, not in Florida. The whole of the United States. That's yeah, different because it's different more than a thousand. Yes, but there's different environments, different places, different animals, different Still species. Still happening all at the same time. Yeah, but a thousand people going out to hunt a thousand animals of different species are not doing that much of harm. If everybody go, if a thousand people go out and they were hunting all white-tailed deer, that causes a lot of of an impact. If a thousand people go out and everybody's hunting. 500 different species yeah. then it, it it's not giving that much of a hole to the environment because oh. it's many different species it's just comparative it's comparative yeah no, sure if little if a little bit of hunters are out there doing that nobody's gonna care a little you know bit and that's a also goes and that's out, also kills a cottonmouth nobody it, cares and also you need hunter, permits they go out and, and leave also, a keto bag nobody cares it's when it, it happens on a mass scale a lot of people do it a lot of people hunt Mass. Yeah, but you need a permit, which yeah, the money yeah. goes back and to conservation. I'm not opposed one. to the process. And then also, I'm not opposed to the hunting also, process. It is a limited amount of people mm-hmm. that biologists yeah. have to come up with because yeah. of the environment that they're hunting in. Yeah. So I'm not against it because of that. Yeah. And even but you, with you trophy can't, hunting, sorry. is nine times out of ten, the, the animal in question that got trophy hunted is like a nuisance animal. So it's like an old nah, male. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. That's Fuck why him. I'm saying it's not all I, the time. I will also say, and again, all the all the generalizations I'm making are exactly that. They're general. They yeah. are not specific to any. I'm not targeting any individual person. But there is a lot of hunters that, I mean, you know, the clout. They do it for clout. They pose with the dead animal. They're like, look how big this yeah, one is. I don't like, like that. I don't okay, have, I don't like whack, that. whack. Don't do that, dude. Yeah. Like, disgusting. It's weird. It is weird. It is weird. It's but like, what are you talking about? That's so manly. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I just murdered! Look at this big ass animal. Yeah. You know what I love? Rifle, okay, this away. is gonna sound mad vegan, like Chuck hates. Yards. Yeah, but I, more than that. I have seen some pictures where pe- like farmers have produced like very large fruit or vegetables, and yeah. they pose with them like like hunters. They like hold <laughs> them up, like look at how big this is. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> that that is shit's fun. so funny. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. I, I just don't like it. I guess I'm not opposed to hunting itself. I'm opposed to 
a lot of the practices that people yeah. do it. The people individually. Yeah. The the stereotypes surrounding them. Okay. I don't like fishing? it. Fishing, I'm very similar with fishing. I think sustainably, whatever, there's a little impact, but at the same time, people still pollute. People still leave yeah. and it is Absolutely. still damaging to the animal. Mm-hmm. Now, if we're talking about large scale fishing like tuna, uh so like whales, farming. sharks, awful, awful, horrible. Yep. Those practices yep. are disgusting. Yep. I agree. Um Yeah, I I think I don't think Okay, I don't think everybody has to go vegetarian, but I think if people could eat meat a little less, I think the world would be a better place. I really do. Okay. I really do. So I want to end this on a better note. Think about what that better note's going to be. I'm going <laughs> to plug something real quick. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, just think in your heads about yeah, 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 how yeah. it could be positive. Okay. So the reptiles with coffee, right? <laughs> <laughs> the best reptile coffee. You need to buy it, modernreptileshop.com. You can also see a whole bunch of our merch. Uh, we still are in the process of making a documentary about nature. What What are you going to say? The coffee you guys buy is made with the water you guys see behind it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's natural caffeine running that's through the coffee right there, bro. We I'm go out and we you. hunt the coffee beans. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sustainably. Ta- tagging it back to Tinley for a second. Yeah, you yeah. know that they pull the the guys that make the the reptiles with coffee. Uh, hey, it's a red shouldered yeah. hawk. Red yeah, shouldered another hawk one mission. again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the guys that make it, they like put up a whole station in Tinley and sell that coffee, their own coffee. I don't know if they sell the reptiles with coffee. They should because it's the best reptile coffee. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> the best strain. It's the best strain. Uh, they sell it there, and that that's very fucking cool, sick. Cool. Yeah, that so is very cool. We got to go to Tinley so we can have yeah. coffee. I need a good that's coffee. That's why we need soon. to go. Fire. I Anyways, uh, merch, all that stuff is in modernreptileshop.com. Support the boys. Uh, how are we ending this? What's the positive note? Yo, look at where we at. We're outside. It's a, it's a, it's a, we're, outside, we're outside, beautiful place, and this is what we're doing from now on. And we're talking yeah. about good yeah. stuff, giving yes. the people good information. What? We're talking about good stuff, giving the people yeah, good information. Yeah, I, 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 I would say, I would say, I'll say, yo, listen, this guy's a piece of shit. Thanks. <laughs> I Which fucking one? hate that guy. <laughs> he does. Piece of shit of a human being. Like, so? I want to beat him up every day correct. of my life. Facts. But right now, bro, that guy right there is doing conservation right Let's there. Let's go. Bro. That guy right there is doing conservation, <laughs> doing a whole bunch of projects. Let's go. Give it up here. So, we're outside. Uh, I'm sure Tino's going to get into a lot of conservation shit that we're yeah. going to end up talking about here. Uh, we're going to push... Keepers for conservation at some fucking point. Yeah, yeah. we, we, we have. We do there, there's been a lot going on so yeah, far this year. But, yeah. but but we're gonna get it rolling. We're outside, yeah. and yeah, I want you guys to to be able to see these places. Maybe get inspired. Go outside. Go outside. Yeah, Keep, yeah. Go fucking outside. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. I I'm going swimming. There. All right, bye. Oh, he's going swimming for real. All right, we're gonna watch him go swimming. <laughs> he's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's a wild man. That is a wild man. All right, this was the Reptiles with Podcast. Thank you guys so much.